Hi family, I'm checking in. I'm I'm checking in a day late. I know I usually check in on Mondays, but honestly, I was really tired, <laughs> so I just I just couldn't. Um, I'm in bed today, kind of relaxing. So I did my I did go in and I worked out. I did a 15 minute mile, and the next day I was so short, sore. I was so short. I was still short too, but I didn't go any taller, but sore. Uh, anyway, I uh. So, but I, and then I went swimming and I had a really good time with some friends and then I got, stayed the night at their house and I got sick all night and then all the next day on um, Sunday and then I just recovering yesterday and today, but I still haven't had to use my tube and so I'm just being kind to myself, you know, I'm just, I've come a long way, right? So I'm just being kind and patient with myself about the healing process and and what it's going to take. I don't know what it's going to take. <laughs> I'm just listening to my body and pushing it when it needs to be pushed. And relaxing when it needs to not. Um, but, you know, it's just that I've been focusing. I was listening to some sermons the other day. That, and it got me thinking about the times that we're living in. And how there's just a loss of natural affection from one human being to another you know, it starts in the home, right? With the loss of affection, we see it with parents, and and just in lo quit loving their parent kids as much, or um, kids just deserting their parents. The old and the young are both being deserted. The same, they're being abandoned. Um, everybody's focused on themselves, and it's to the extent of mothers are killing their babies and demanding because for selfish reasons. Um, you know, it's just, we see it happening and we see these daughter, girls growing up without fathers and what's that's doing to our society and the whole world as a whole. And it's just devastating to watch the, just the, even the, the natural love of the next person in line at the grocery store, you know, or, or the old lady needing help with their groceries, that's gone. You know, it's just an indifference there, an indifference so bad that we're trafficking human beings. You know, and it's just, so I was thinking about it, I'm like, wow, we live in such a wonderful, wonderful time where we get to watch the Bible come to play. And this is part of it, right? This is the lover of selves, the, the death of unnatural love, giving it over to a, a mind that's just evil and twisted in its thinking. There's a word for that, and I can't think of it right now. I'm so tired. But hey, I'm not losing my train of thought so bad, so yay. Um, oh, I tried to just cause myself to do it. Okay. Um, all right, so the dep depraved minds. Oh, depraved minds. You know, and we're so we're just we're going through, it's just we're seeing all that happen, and we're watching. And we're not, and we're seeing it because we're not a part of it, right? We don't, we don't follow their mindset and we haven't been given over to a de depraved mind. And we see the world for what it is and what's happening. And we have discernment from the Holy Spirit and we just know what's good and what's bad and what's sin and what isn't. And we just, and we listen to it. We don't pull away. We don't want to do the exact opposite of what God wants us to do. We're, we're running towards him and we're that light. That we don't look the same as the rest of the world. We don't, we don't, we just, we, sh we walk and we talk and we act differently and we think differently. Our, and they don't like the way we think because we think biblically and they don't want that. They, they, they want, they're rejecting it so hard. So naturally you're going to be rejected, but so is Jesus, right? And but it's all good news for us because we don't really care about their, what they think about us. We don't. We just, we know that and they get, when they get to heaven, they're going to appreciate us if they make it, you know. But the point is, is that we just tell them what's going to happen so that when it happens, they'll know what happened and they can become tribulation saints. We are so close. We don't have to live in this dark, loveless world anymore where infidelity and divorce and husbands not loving their wives just runs rampant and it's not just what it's wives not loving their husbands there's an indifference to human life and humans feeling and human compassion 
and we get all of our love and mercy and grace from the Lord and we don't look for it in different things and we can see the manipulations and how it got to this point it's like we're watching this snowball you just cascade and you see it happening and you watch this and you just think oh Jesus is coming soon that's what this all means it means that Jesus is coming soon and he told us it was gonna be this way you know we we just so we lean on him we lean on him for everything and just that's it that's all we can do is just pray and lean on him and just get through this because we don't have to go much longer I'm really strong feeling about this month you know I could be wrong I really hope I'm praying I not but I mean this could be it this could be our last our last month on earth yeah well as this earth we'll come back but our last month on earth and these crappy bodies that's for sure so it's just like it's gonna be it's all gonna be okay soon I know it's dark and I know it's icky but we just gotta fight through it and just get through it and not focus on what we're in now but where we're going and what's ahead because and just love each other and just try to see people through God's eyes and like so even our brothers and sisters it's a challenge so we got to watch each other through how God sees them not how we see them like just that's a, so let's just pray for that that's what we can pray for that's how we can get through this time is we can just figure out how to be that light and help the people and just so that are going to be going through the tribulation to have something that helps them the difference between coming a tribulation saint and someone who got the mark and that's really what it's going to come down to a lot of them are going to the seeds that you're planting now are going to grow very soon in the tribulation and you know it's not hell it's not i like what repo man said he said it's not hell it's terrible right but it's not hell and they don't have to go to hell and then what a blessing because these people they never would have gone to heaven if they hadn't had the tribulation like they need something like that to come back from how far you know everything is and how deluded and brainwashed they are uh, they need something big and if so how many people are not going to go to hell who would have gone to hell had they died of natural causes or been murdered <laughs> you know before the tribulation but it's all God's plan and his judgment and his plan is beautiful so we we want to pull this get as many people to go with us in the rapture but I don't really think we're getting a lot of people to go with us in the rapture I think we're probably getting more people that are going to join the tribulation saints and that's okay and so we're just that close I just I just know we're there we're he's at the door and we're watching and we are not in the dark we are in the light we are children of the light Jesus loves us and he has not abandoned us and he is coming so as dark as things look we are don't live in the darkness we live in the light so and with that um let's pray oh dear heavenly father I thank you so very much you are our absolute everything lord and just help us Help us have the same love and grace and mercy. May we just always get our attributes from you, Lord, and not from our flesh. Lord, we just help us see our brothers and sisters, how you see them. And even if they're different or weird, Lord, help us see what you see in them. And let us just draw to that and not focus on what's different, Lord. We have one common thing, and that is that we love you. And we want to go spend an eternity with you. And we are all on different paths, Lord. That is the path that you have laid out for us. Yes, it's the path of righteousness, Lord. But we have different journeys, different trials that we have to endure. Lord, and just, so let's not judge someone else's endurance. Help us just see them how you see them, Lord. Help our hearts be full of forgiveness for people in the world that hurt us. And not let us hold any resentment and just separate ourselves from them in a way that we, they can't emotionally affect us. Lord, because we're, we just, we're separated and we're locking ourselves away, Lord. Because we don't want anything to do with any of that. We just want to be with you. 
and is, if we can't, we just the world is icky. And let us just stay closer to you today, Lord. I just, I love you, and you are my everything. And I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, that's it, you guys. I'll see you in the next one or in the clouds.